extraordinary. That that look is is pretty scary, isn't it? It says it all. His, his death stare is is nothing to mess with. I mean, the only one who has uh, anything on there is Nakamura. But let's take a look and see what happened in the opening. It so. looks like a scotch, and the players are not. You see, they're not used to that delay as they're playing instantly. And as you said, Jen, lose it, use it or lose it. And they're just playing really rapid fire instead of using all of their three seconds. Well, they know the openings, though. Right now, they don't really need to use the three seconds to reassess anything. Obviously, Gary was convinced he was going to play this version of Scotch that he used to defeat Anatoly Karpov in their epic world championship match. So yes. clearly Wesley was prepared for this line as well. And now Wesley giving quite a bit of pause as Gary has not used any time so far to get to this position. Exactly. Well, in fact, there are two, two moves for uh, Wesley, either D7, D6 or Knight B4. There's just simply no other choice. Other moves are just strategically really terrible uh, for Wesley. So D6 and white has an option of going no i actually he must play knight before doesn't he wow he's just introduced this move c5 that looks really very strange move to my eyes a very uh, surprising uh decision by wesley so queen e4 uh, looks Maybe like an uh, like Maybe an automatic. Worse, right. Yeah, Gary has played G3 by the way. He and he was very quick. So this move C5 is not a surprise for Gary. He played it very quickly. G3 is the engine's number one move, in fact. So Gary quite comfortable where he is and going for the big pawn formation, guarding his pawn with F4. Exactly, Bishop G7. Yeah, F4. Black has to get D6 in at some point or his position is going to be strategically ugly. busted yeah. yeah that's right because not only will he have a weak pawn on c5 but gary's pawns will simply roll and we have we've seen knight before now knight before uh looks like a stutter step from a move ago i don't like this position offhand knight for C um for wesley I mean, there are some little tactical ideas in the position. Maybe you could move bishop back to b7, and then after bishop g2 and queen g2, there's something happening on uh, d3. But, mm -hmm. uh, of course, Gary played bishop to d2, and uh, now rook d8 by Wesley, knight still trying c to get this d6 move in at some exactly. point. Knight's and knight coming to d3 sometimes. Yeah, well, knight c3 is an automatic. Gary has played it. Uh, Gary is now has ideas like bishop takes b4, knight d5 in mind. Um, at some point, this big pawn wedge in the middle of this board, this pawn on E5 has to be dealt with and either D6 or F6 is a necessity. So Wesley has played the move castles and now what about your idea of just taking one before and playing knight D5? I like it. I don't like giving up the bishop right now. I'm thinking that castles uh, that knight on B4 is not running away anywhere. Gary has a big lead on the clock by the way. Look at that He's been sitting there for about 30 seconds and still with a lead on the clock. So he's taking this right now as the moment when all the possibilities that he can control, uh, he should study. And that exchange on B4 unquestionably is on his mind. But look at how quickly his clock is ticking down after having that full minute on the clock. He's going down now very quickly to Wesley's time. Intriguing. And let me just critical take, position indeed. I mean big moment in the game. Let we, me just we flash back. Exploded in that game, guys. Woo. Take a look. Yeah, go back. We go back to this position right here. Just a couple of moves. And you see the move A three. Well, you kind of went quickly there, Yaz. Yeah, if we okay. can come to this big board. We saw the move in this uh castles, of course, had been played. Get the king into safety. And F seven, F six. A big, big move by Wesley. Has he uh, calculated accurately the consequences of E7, E6? Gary gets a pass pawn in the center of the board. The engines are saying that's a blunder. Yeah. That's a blunder according to the engines. With bishop to D5 is the move Shaft. that the engines are giving. Bishop to D5 and then an actual sacrifice and of the queen. And he had to sacrifice his rook in that position. He sacrificed an exchange did Wesley by taking on D5 in this position. Right. Because he simply was going to lose material. And he's this is his counterplay chance that he is hoping for. And now... Gary up in exchange, but he will lose back the pawn at least after bishop takes, bishop takes.
I'm not sure. I'm not sure he's going to lose the pawn because oh, he's not. there's a queen c4. There's a trade of queens, queens possible. On queen d takes d5. There's a trade of queens when necessary. By the way, boldly pointing out the obvious, the, the rook on a1 is ready to is, uh, munch that pawn on a7. This looks lost. It is. Yesterday. The engines are saying that this is busted <clears throat> down a full exchange. In, well, in exchange for a pawn, well, not even an ex a pawn, it's a full exchange exactly. in this position and never going to get back real compensation. His pawns on the queen side look awful. They're going to drop like flies and Wesley is in a completely lost position. This would be a terrific start for the former world champion, Kasparov. That's right. So if we if we play bishop takes e5, oh, Gary can simply capture with the queen, queen, and that's the big problem. If pawn takes, we get a lot of counterplay because we're working at two is yeah. is pinned. We can maybe play bishop to e4. Exactly. But no, this is no. this is, this no is lost. The engines yeah. are giving this one as done. Just no real moves. He is taken on e5. The queen takes e5. And queen is takes a dominant uh, re retort. That's right, queen takes e5, and then we have to figure out some way to e at least try to win that pawn back on d5. But He's taking some time, by the way, in this position as Kaspara, but queen takes is the only move to maintain his advantage, actually. Pawn takes allows bishop to b7, and problems start with the counterplay. On the long diagonal. So Gary, of course, queen takes being the right move, and he has played it. And Wesley trying desperately rook to get D8. some counterplay with the move rook d8. Uh, that, came, um, that came really fast. Well, d6, d6 though. d6 we could play, yeah. d6, d6. is the engine. His first move, D6 wow. looks strong, but Gary has instead played Rook to D1. Not the top move, but still winning. But it is blitz, so we we, we No, I like this. I still like winning, it. still right. winning. No, it's I'm not. It may, I'm it sorry. Nobody's nice. played another way to try to exchange queens. That's queen the thing. A lot of the tactics we see here are trading queens, but losing a pawn from queen to C4 to exactly. D6. It's the exact same queens. idea. Yeah. Queen trading D4, queens because be then all of your disastrous. pawns are just going to drop off the board. So a very thematic ideas here. Interesting. Uh, Wesley, after queen a5, inviting the move rook a1 by Gary. Gary instead plays rook d2. And Gary's idea is very simple. He just basically, the rook on f2 is not working. He needs to bring that rook back to the e file. Maybe play a move like h3, uh, king g2, h3. But rook a1 looked so good. It did. But rook e8 by Wesley, trying to get a little counterplay in the back rank, simply king g2, no worries. Nice. You don't have to worry about the back rank if your king's on the second rank. True right? that. So and h3, get that, get that bishop out of there. Give your king some extra squares. And you know me, I love grabbing pawns. That a7 pawn looks delicious one day. But the West clock times now, guys, is, the clock times, Gary, though he's up, he hasn't figured out exactly how to win yet. He has played the move h3, bishop back to f5, and now g4. Excellent move. Excellent move. Get that bishop out of the way. By yeah, the way. because we would have probably played queen to d7 to get a tiny bit of counterplay. On Stick the a light bishop squares. on h3. You're Maybe right. rookie one could be annoying at some point. This yeah. looks harder. I mean, for an amateur like playing this and allowing Bishop B4, it looks uglier. But actually, the the, the king, king is going to be very rank, yeah, fine. very safe. And by the way, having booted the bishop, two options now for for White. D5, D6 is in the position, so you can play Queen D5 and trade queens, as well as F5 and F6. And by the way, there's a pass pawn on the F file. Woo! C5, a little... Queen F6, posting up, and it really looks Just killing D6. now. D6. D6. Just going for it. Is there any counterplay That's here for... super powerful move. That's a crushing position in F5, blasting through. What a oh dominant performance by Kasparov as and F5 lands on the board. He's going to open up the whole king side. This is just crushing. Epic no. checkmate. I mean, if c3 just takes on g6, should be winning. It exactly. Takes d2, it's a, it's queen f7, mate. and queen h7 checkmate. It's so a force it's, mate. By the way, Caruana is up a pawn anything. in the other position as they're playing quickly. Not as sharp a position right now, but Caruana is up a pawn. But it's all about this game as Gary is showing his stuff, coming out the gates quickly. Look at this position. Queen oh e7 checks. Total takes dominance. F8. Uh, queen e7, queen takes f8 check, a huge threat in the position. I think it's going to be resigns, guys. I really this do. This is just... There's nothing to do. And look at Gary grab the queen. Yeah. Grab the queen said, this one will be on the board any second. Exactly. Uh, this is just completely busting. Also, isn't d8 queens just a, a threat as well? Queen well, moving over to c5. No, I think queen e7 check is the, 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 the dominant threat in the and position. And he's just played queen d6. Queen d6 with all the threats. Trade queens. 
and also sacrifice on F8. This is resignable. Only 10 seconds left. Wesley will probably resign on this move. Yes, and he, he has. has. Done so. Bravo, and there Gary. is Gary. Gary getting up on the board first game. Big victory for Gary. We were and wondering what kind of form is he going to be in for the splits match. Oh,